a robotics company in China called Unitree just set a world record. We're going to dive into the humanoid robot and everything surrounding this new world record. Let's dive right into it. So China's Unitry H1 Evolution 3.0 is the new humanoid robot that set the world record. What we'll cover in today's video is the new China world record, as well as the Unitry H1 Evolution 3.0, the humanoid robot, as well as Unitry's robot dog Go2, which is a dog robot, and it is really, really cool. And then a few other Unitry products that they're working on as well as the different industries that these robots will affect right away, or at least they're advertising that they affect immediately, such as electricity and fire control. So let's dive right in. So the new China world record. So as you can see here, we got the Guinness world record as well as China. China is killing it in terms of the robotics side of things. And Unitree Robotics from China has set a new world record speed with its H1 humanoid robot, which achieved a speed of 3.3 meters per second, which is equivalent to 11.9 kilometers per hour or 7.4 miles per hour. This record is a full-size humanoid robot surpassing the previous held record by Agility Robots Casey, which was not a full humanoid robot, but rather a set of legs with a head. Now, the H1 humanoid robot is also capable of climbing and descending stairs, jumping and demonstrating full body coordination through dancing. It is equipped with advanced sensors and powered by electric motors, which is notable since similar jumping capabilities are often achieved with bulkier hydraulic actuators in other robots like Boston Dynamics Atlas. In a broader context, China's robotics industry has seen significant growth with a record of 1.5 million robots working in its factories as of 2022. This represents 52% of all global installations, indicating Chinese, China's dominant position in the robotics market. The electrical and electronics industry is the primary customer for industrial robotics in China, followed by the automotive industry. The, the country's robot stock has been growing at an average of 25% per year from 2017 to 2022. And the World Robotics Report also highlights that a record number of 553,000 industrial robots were installed globally in 2022, with China accounting for more than half of these new installations. This growth has also contributed to China's position as the larger, largest market for industrial robots. Moreover, the World Robotic Conference in 2023 in Beijing showcased a record number of new products with over 140 companies presenting nearly 600 exhibits, including more than 50 new products. And Chinese industrial robot makers have also increased their share market of the domestic market to a record 44% in the first half of the year, indicating a shift towards domestic brands. So we've talked about some of the other companies such as Tesla's robots, Boston Dynamics, as well as figure AI. And I'll be doing more videos on this channel surrounding some of those robotics companies and new inventions and different uh, upcoming robotics companies. But as we can see here, China is really taking the robotics industry by storm. And obviously it would be in our best interest, you know, for those of you watching this that are from the U S or are from Canada or North America, of course, that we want to see our own home, uh, companies, you know, uh, advancing a bit more than some of these other companies but uh yeah china is definitely something to keep your eye on so the unitry h1 evolution 3.0 so here's what it looks like and this is the third version all right there was the eight the first version the second version we're going to be talking mainly about the third version because this is the new version this is the version that got the world record so the most powerful general purpose humanoid robot of its counterparts with similar specifications in the world so here's kind of a spec sheet all right i'm not going to dive through all the specific specs right but we can see here um, i'll be showing some different videos of this unitree robot as well as uh, breaking it down a bit more on their website but here is actually the unitree video right here for the 3.1 so or 3.0 so we can see the new world record speed for a fuel full-size humanoid robot 3.3 miles or meters per second like look how fast that's actually going i'm just going to play that one more time 
you almost may think it's sped up just because how fast it's almost like running right and it's getting pretty crazy as you can see here it's dancing you know a lot of these companies like to make it dance like to make it do the shuffle and you can see here it's really just throwing it down um got the nice movement and stuff i mean this is i mean like i said this is r still really um in its infancy stage in terms of the robotics and stuff so s saying like imagine where we're going to be in a year from now two years from now um it's really getting crazy like look at this jump and the way it's able to stabilize after the jump with the, that nice fall um it's able to pick this up you can see there it's it also has its dog right there so the dog is a very um kind of popular one that the robotics companies like to do as well and uh they're really useful for specific tasks as well and we'll get into the dog in a second um as you can see here it's climbing these stairs and it's also turning around and descending through those stairs and you can see here there that it has pretty narrow stairs right there it's doing a spinning down the stairs so that's pretty pretty crazy all right and we'll go on to their website and take a look at the actual um, bot as well so let's go check out unitree all right so here we are on the actual website and this is a unitree h1 robot like i said it's the unitree's first universal humanoid robot and here we see this is the highest power performance in the world's approximate specifications the advanced powertrain provides the highest level of speed power maneuverability and flexibility you can see here like look how powerful and stable this robot actually is you can see the legs are pretty wide out it has a nice level of balance right there and this guy's actually kicking the robot and it's continuing just walking it really is able to take that pressure and just keep going you can see here it's just cruising along the first full-size general purpose humanoid robot that can run in china processing a stable gait and highly flexible movement capabilities it is able to walk and run autonomously to complex terrains and environments it's three uh 360 degrees depth perception so that's really really cool you can see here it can literally like see from uh behind itself equipped with 3d lidar plus depth camera real-time acquisition of high precision spatial data to achieve panoramic scanning so that's really cool unity h1 full-size universal humanoid robot so body size value height about 180 centimeters so i think it's just over six feet weight about 47 kg peak torque density 189 uh, n dot m uh, per kilogram athletic ability walking speed 1.5 uh, meters per second potential athletic performance and endurance battery capability eight uh, 864 watts an hour and then quickly replaceable maximum joint torque 360 and dot m and then 360 degrees depth sensor sensing 3d lidar plus depth camera you can see here the lidar right here the different type the depth camera intel real sense d435i combined shoulder motors realization of 3d spatial degrees of freedom single arm degrees of freedom for expandable mobility so travel speed potential mobility wow you can see the hips here hollow electrical routing no external cables core motion model maximum torque and then single leg degrees of freedom so really cool stuff unitree m107 joint motor so super powerful performance significantly improved in terms of agility speed low capacity endurance and more this is the motor right here you can see the product the different spec sheets so there are different motors there's the m107 t1 t2 that are in there and then the unitree h1 parameter so you can see the spec sheet here i'm not going to go over too much of the technical stuff but really really interesting stuff really cool stuff and all right so for the unitree evolution 3.0 humanoid robot it's actually only around ninety thousand dollars and you may think that's a lot of money but it's actually not that much comparable to you know like companies like boston dynamics and these other companies uh ninety seven ninety thousand dollars for a humanoid robot like this especially right now um isn't too bad for you know if you're a big company and you want to get some of these humanoid robots within your company doing specific tasks replacing humans or aiding your your business it's it's really uh quite a good price point 
And this is right now, I mean, this is the dumbest they're ever going to be. Just like AI, they're only going to get better. And as well, once, you know, as over the years go up, just like everything with technology, the price is only going to go down as well. So um, these are a bit more affordable with Unitree. They have some really good pricing options. And I'll show you that even in a second with this dog. So the Unitree Robot Dog Go 2. And we'll talk about some of their other dogs, but... This dog right here is their cheapest dog, and you can see here, new creature of embodied AI, Unitree Go 2, Infinite Revolution, price starting at $1,600. So that's super cheap. It's like the price of like a a drone, you know, for like videographers, or it's like a price of like, you know, maybe like a camera, not, not too expensive camera. It's like really not that pricey for something like this. And here is uh, their video of it doing a handstand. So you can see here, we'll break this down in just a second even more. It's kind of, you know, showing like it's an actual little doggy um, going out greeting its owner. Uh, it has like a camera saying good boy. Automatic code generation via GPT. Get me some water. Sorry, I can't reach. I'll dance to pleasure you instead. So you see here it little trotting around, dancing on. Okay, look at the agility of it. Just look at that. That's really, really cool. Literally just on one side it can do it. It can be on all fours on play and fetch. And you'll see it running. Uh, battery endurance upgraded by 150%. Um, equipped with camera recognition system up to by upgraded by 200%. Real-time mapping. It's on an app here. You can see like heat maps. Just walking around, cruising in a little maze. Feature ring intelligence side follow system. So it's literally able to like just walk to the side while it's facing forward. Moves well in complex terrain. So it's climbing up these stairs, climbing down the stairs, climbing on these like rocks, rock terrain. Where it's like, oh wow, motor performance endurance enhanced by 30%. Just doing jumps, it can do a flip. Look at that, that's insane. That's crazy. A full front flip, running beside a dog, autonomous inspections, equipped with a, dext a dexterous robo uh, robotic arm. Wow, that's crazy. So that's a, so the robotic arm, it looks like it's just uh, optional for you have to get that as an accessory. AI based. Wow, this is like a bunch of them. <laughs> so yeah, you guys get the point here. It's literally walking downstairs on two hands right now. And like I said, keep in mind, this is the dumbest these things are ever going to be. This is the worst they're ever going to be. These things are only getting better and better. Next few years, robotics are really taking off. Even within this year, the next few months, it's just the advancements are really crazy with this sort of, with all these things. So, For Francisco Valero Cuevas, inspiration can come from anywhere, even his own living room. Cleo is our cat at home. Cleo can just do everything so gracefully. And so we were thinking, wouldn't it be interesting to learn how to build quadrupeds that can teach themselves to walk? That idea, teaching robots how to learn to walk, is as difficult as it sounds. But in his lab at the University of Southern California, Valero Cuevas and his team of students and PhDs are making progress. The professor and students work together closely, monitoring each development of the robot's learning process. We're using a combination of multiple sensors on either side. Instead of simply programming a certain set of actions, the team has given Cleo simulated neurons that mimic the way information is sent to the spinal cord of a living being. It's an all-in-one system complete with a battery, so it can move on its own. A motor, which acts as a kind of artificial spinal cord, learns which neural connections can trigger a desired outcome, in this case, walking. It's an innovative process known as reinforcement learning and can work even when not all of the robot's parts function correctly. And uh, we'll actually go to the website. New Creature of Embodied. All right, so here we are, New Creature of Embodied AI, Unitree Go, Infinite Revolution, starting at 1600. Uh, scientific and technological technological sovereignty to Unitree Go 2 based on the technical innovation and the industrial leadership. Unitree upgraded its technology, returning for a smart and improved partner. Standard ultra wide 4D lidar upgrades, recognition system by, uh, by 200,000 or 200 percent. 
and then GoTo features with Unitree self-developed 4D LiDAR L1 with 360 degrees times 90 degrees hemispherical ultra wide recognition super small blind spot and a minimum detection distance as low as 0.05 meters which makes go to realize all terrain recognize uh realize all terrain recognizing um so gpt empowers the new intelligent creature to better understand the world and make decisions and then this is at the asian games Robot dog superstar. You can see it here. Various actions and poses. And then intelligent side follow system. Covered that. OTA upgrades. Keep improving and evolving to be smarter. Unitree Go super recognition system. Maximum running speed. So right there. Peak joint torque. Wireless mo module. Wi-Fi 6. Bluetooth 4G. Ultra long battery endurance. Approximately 2 to 4 hours. Uh, intelligent side follow system, tracking module, Tercom microphone, self re retracting strap, more stable, more powerful with advanced devices, front camera, front lamp, 4D LiDAR L1, 12 knee joint motors, foot force sensor, speaker for music play, you can listen to music, bump some tracks, smart battery, uh, powerful computing core. All right, so. Uh, intelligent interaction have fun with the app so you can actually kind of see what it sees i guess you could like move it around a remote car pushing boundaries with technology so we have actually a few different models here we have the air the pro the edu and you can check out the specs here and this is not the only dog they have so right now they have for humans they just have the h1 for robots they have the go 2 they have the go 1 and these ones right here are consumer and education ro dogs right here so you can see here with the go to you can get a go battery charger remote control and foot end and then here with the go one you can get a battery uh, i think this is a motor and then they have the a1 all right so highly integrated pushing limits this one is uh accompany you to the world for the go one and then intelligent new species and then they also have this little ben ben thing which is kind of funny i was looking at it i'll show you guys in a second then for the more industrial industrial robots for dogs they have the b2 all right where you can either just have the regular b2 or the b2 with wheels they have the b1 and they have the ingo so multifunctional industrial level application all right they also have the robotic arms that you can add as um, additional stuff as well as the 4d lidar l1 light and then just to check out ben ben real quick you can see here it's a funny looking one, like a little dragon or whatever you want to call it. And you can see here all of them doing their little Ben Ben dance, doing Ben Ben flips in China. Right, so <laughs> pretty funny stuff. It's a little funny little Chinese butt dog right here. Jumping up and down, getting on its paws and dancing with humans. So if you want a Ben Ben, it's a pretty funny looking one. It has a little bit of personality and character to it, so that's definitely uh, good to see. Opposed from just the typical black and gray robots, it's a little bit different. So, a few of the industries that it's affecting electricity. So, intelligent power inspection robot launch uh, launched a new power intel intelligence inspection solution designed a series. Uh, of solutions for dangerous, urgent, and repetitive tasks and provided efficient guarantee for power system construction, operation, and maintenance and other work. How can robots help the power industry upgrade, efficient impro efficiency improvement, cost reduction, safety, and reliability, application scenario as a new detection method for factories, parks, substations, urban underground pipe corridors, and other important places intelligent inspection pool robots can obtain environmental information and identification information of sensing equipment uh, and can complete tasks that cannot uh, be done manually walking patrol guard intelligent visual recognition so you can see here inspection management system 3d radar autonomous navigation whole process inspection global coverage and then another industry fire control so an intelligent firefighting system help protect firefighting safety so that rescuers are no longer in danger. 
quick response, deploy quickly, act quickly, and gain the initiative for mission operations. Long range reconnaissance, possess long range reconnaissance capabilities, grasp the overall situation of the scene and provide an important basis for scientific decision making and then safety and reliability. Application scenario, it has excellent of offense and defense capabilities and has a full range combat cap and has full range combat capabilities both outside and inside the fire field. Walking fire guard, so investigation, assist firefighters to quickly understand the situation at the disaster site, replace the firefighters to complete investigation operations in dangerous environments and escort the fire rescue, emergency uh, search, so the laser radar scans, the surrounding environment in real time collects the sound of the scene and detects the vital signs by infrared making the search and rescue work more intelligent and providing supportive support for the rescue work rescue drills so participate in fire drills during which the robot helps transport rescue supplies helps people understand the details of the drill site and realizes the communication between people and the and trap people through its intercom function all right so that's pretty much it those are the industries right now that they're focusing on and those are really some of the cool things this company unitree is working on i'm really excited to stay up to date with this company's progress um, and see kind of how all these companies in, within the robotics uh, industry, humanoid robots, dog robots, whatever the case may be, are progressing as they start advancing, as the costs go down, as they start getting implemented into day-to-day -day life. These things are ultimately replacing humans in specific things. It's going to have, in the short term, especially a lot of benefits, of course, you know, for dangerous human jobs. And it's on one hand, it's, you know, there's pros and cons. On one hand, someone could look at it and say, Oh, they're replacing jobs just like AI. Um, you're going to lose jobs. I mean, but you can look at it both ways. There's definitely going to be a lot of pros. It is at the end of the day, it's really the inevitable future. So let me know what your thoughts are, though, in the comments down below, guys. Let me know what you guys think of Unitree as well as their humanoid robot breaking the world record. Um, it being a China company. Let me know about if you're, you know, know more about figure AI as well as the Tesla robot and Boston Dynamics. What do you think how this compares to those? I'll be doing more videos on those as well. So make sure to smash that subscribe button, smash that like button. Um, as well as if you want me to do a video on a specific topic, let me know in the comments down below. And you will notice that there is this scrolling bar that's been here throughout this video. And that is has a bunch of different links which will be in the description as well to some of the free resources that are available to you guys so we have our free stride ai community if you want to stay up to date with different resources different prompts all for free as well as network with a bunch of like-minded individuals like-minded ai enthusiasts entrepreneurs business owners as well as just people who enjoy this channel you can check out stridecommunity.com it's 100 percent free you can join our free facebook group and our free discord channel network with myself as well as other people in the community and then you can also check out our free six day challenge our free accelerate your stride ai challenge which we will be hosting soon you can go register for free at accelerateyourstride.com link will be in the description for that as well bunch of stuff on ai people charge a lot of money for the this type of information it's we're giving it away for 100 percent free <laughs> And then also too, guys, I also just big news for me. I just wrote and published my first book. I really poured my blood, sweat and tears into this thing as well as my heart and soul. So if you want to support my book, um, I'd highly appreciate it as well as this will dramatic drastically help improve your life and your business life. If you run a business, we go over everything to help you acqu acquire new clients. It's called the client acquisition code. And the purpose of it is to help you escape the guru matrix by taking the stride pill. We have a lot of new age tactics on how to acquire clients as well as improve your business and a whole chapter on AI prompting AI using AI in your business. And um, it's really structured around this new AI wave in this new ai economy how you can actually make money with it so um it's over 600 pages of pure value no fluff go check it out their link is clientacquisitioncode.com you can download the digital copy as well as there's a bunch of free bonuses courses um custom ai bots that are included with there there's over eight bonuses so just go to that video uh to that web page check out the video i know you're gonna love it and there is a 30-day money back guarantee so if you don't love it just message me and um, you can get your money back but that's that's how confident i am that you will uh, get value from this book it's only 27 bucks for all the bonuses and everything so it's less than a cup of coffee a day for a month and then lastly guys in that book i do talk about the best crm in the world go high level if you haven't heard of it it's the best crm because 
for you for your business as well as you can resell it to clients that's what i do and that's literally my whole business is built on go high level so i would highly recommend checking it out personally recommending this software it's it's i'm not it's not my software but i use it and i built my whole business on it and i also did build a specific snapshot which is like all the funnels that you would need to get started all the the automations all the forms um, all that good stuff as well as a custom training and it's in depth and uh, it's 100 for free you just gotta sign up through go high level through my affiliate link so i get a little kickback but it's the same price you would normally pay if you sign it up for go high level so um if you're planning on signing up for it then if you want to sign up for my through my link and get all the free resources you can go to go strylevel.com once you sign up just message me and i'll send over the the snapshot link 100 for free as well as a training and all that good stuff and um yeah it's it's a crazy good crm and it is like the cheapest in the industry for what you get so go check it out it's the most cost effective and it's the best crm i've ever used i've used all the other crms like hubspot close io etc and they have a bunch of ai capabilities too in there so it's really awesome just go watch the video if you have any questions and uh, they have a 14 day free trial so there's really nothing to lose anyways guys thank you for watching uh make sure to smash that button smash that subscribe button let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and i will see you in the next video where i will keep you updated on all the ai news to improve your life improve your business and grow together anyways guys keep hustling keep grinding and of course accelerate your stride take care guys